Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we go on holiday in five days, which is crazy. By the way, please excuse my hair, but um, while I've got a chance to film, I thought I'd quickly film because I've got um, a few ideas on what I want to do. But a lot of people on my Instagram said they would like to see me packing the kids' cases and like tips and tricks, things like that with packing with two children. Um, so we are going away for 10 days. We have three suitcases. Um, me and Paul are going to be sharing one. Harry and Ellie are going to be sharing one and the other one which is more of a smaller one is going to be things like his formula and um, ready-made milk his bottles all the random stuff and we just thought having a third case would just be a lot easier and we haven't got to worry about the weight and things like that but obviously if, it, if you just have the two cases or you might not need as much stuff as I have I do tend to overpack and I'll put my hands up and admit that but I've been on a few holidays now and I seem to know what we need and what we don't need. And I also like to have a lot of spare clothes because my children are very messy, especially Harry at the moment because his milk goes everywhere, he's dribbling and he gets a lot of food down him. So yeah, I do pack quite a lot of clothes and um, I'm not ashamed to admit it. But this might be different for you. This is just how I pack. Everyone packs very differently. And um, yeah, if you'd like to see what's in Harry and Ellie's suitcase, then keep on watching. So I'm going to show you how I pack from like start to finish. But I also wanted to mention that every time we go on a holiday, whether it's a little weekend away trip or like a big holiday, um, I do do a checklist. This one's just really scribble down because i was in a rush doing it i always do a checklist because it's just so much easier instead of keeping it all up here yeah i've got ellie's section here she hasn't got too much paul section my section and harry's section which seems to be the most on there i will leave everything that is on this list if that helps anyone because i know a lot of people are messaging me saying katie can you please tell me what's on your packing list i'd like to um like copy it and work with it so i will leave everything that's listed on this piece of paper in the description box below um, and then maybe you can print that off or do what you like with it um, but this is the suitcase already packed and then i'm going to unpack it and show you how i do it this is it packed and things like nappies and wipes they will be going in that separate random case that i was talking about but i have got his swim nappies in here because i had some room um, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, instead of getting absolutely everything out because it's pretty pointless, um, I did do this last night and I thought, oh, I must film a video on it. Um, I'm going to show you what's in the case, but I have took the majority of it out. I just want to leave these bits in here. Okay, so in the bottom of the case, and as you can see, this case is huge. Like, it's really deep and perfect for sharing. Um, I have all of their evening and smart stuff, and I've left them on the hangers because... When we get to the hotel room, there will be hangers, but not children hangers. And I do like to hang their little outfits up like this, especially. So, um, yeah, I thought, do you know what? The hangers ain't taking up too much space. So I'm just going to bring them. And then when I get to the hotel room, I can just hang them straight up. Um, and then when we come home, I can just leave the hangers there because I've got loads. So these are their little kind of like evening outfits. We've just got um, some here for Harry, little shirts and stuff little smart shorts um, and then we have Ellie's stuff so I'm not going to go through them I have showed them a lot of this stuff are in hauls which I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to see the clothes in more detail so yeah that's like the evening stuff and then in this section here we have all of Ellie's shoes so we've got we've got a pink pair um, a brown pair a iridescent sort of white pair um, another white pair these are like her comfy shoes we've got another pink pair and her jelly shoes for the beach um, and then in here is her underwear and socks so I packed enough underwear and if she does need some more then I will wash them and bring some travel wash and there's just two pairs of socks there in case her feet get cold or for traveling or anything so yeah that is what's in that section doesn't stay up which is really annoying um and then all of this is going to go in there and i'll show you me packing it up i hope you can see me okay sorry about the lighting it's quite sh shadowy 
Um, so I'm gonna show you all the rest of the stuff and me popping it into the case. First thing is Harry's shorts. These are all his shorts. I don't know how many is in there, but there is plenty for him. Um, some of them are evening and some of them are daytime. So I'm just gonna pop them in there. Next up, we have Harry's t-shirts and there's just a bunch of different ones. We've got like um, some smarter ones, Ralph Lauren there, um, and some more casual ones. And then we have a bunch of vests. These are like sleeveless vests um, from Next. And then these are rompers. I'll just show you one so you can get an idea of what a romper is. Um, but these are brilliant for like hot weather. They're just little cotton rompers. And as you can see, they're like little shorts. Um, and I think these are going to be great and like a backup for if anything gets really messy so i'm just going to pop one of these every day in my changing bag um, and then if he gets dirty i'll just pop him in one of these um, and i think he'll be traveling in one of these as well because they are really comfortable he can also sleep in them as well if um, i know it's going to be hot in turkey but obviously when you have the air conditioning on in the hotel room it can be quite chilly so he can sleep in any of these Okay, next is Ellie. We have some daytime dresses here. So these are her daytime dresses. Or like, you know, if you go to the beach or to the restaurant, you can just pop one of these on. So taking them. And we have all of her tops. Some of them are t-shirts, some of them are vest tops. Um, and then, like I said, one of these will be her traveling home outfit as well. Um, I'll let her decide, but yeah, we've got plenty of tops. And then we have all of her shorts. So we've got some like evening ones, some cotton ones and ones to put over her swimming stuff. Um, so yeah, they are all her shorts. Next, we have two cardigans for Ellie. We have a pink one and a white one. I'm gonna fold this up a little bit better. Um, and this is for if it gets chilly in, in the evenings or anything like that. I know it probably won't be because Turkey is really hot at the moment, but I just like to be prepared and um, I wouldn't want her going cold or anything. So we've got two cardigans, two hoodies for Harry, but one of them will be coming on the plane with us. So this is his other one. It's just a navy zip up hoodie. And then we have all of the swimwear. So this is all of Ellie's and Harry's swimwear. So we have um, little swimming costumes for Ellie, a little bikini, then UV suits for Harry. Um, so yeah, that is all of their swimwear. So I'm going to pop that in. Next are hats. Now I've got a little tip. If you've got hats like this, which are called like, um, I think they're called like baseball caps. Um, I've got one for Ellie and one for Harry. If you put them in a suitcase, they can get really, really squashed. So what I do is I pack the base of it with either clothes or what I've done is put more hats inside it. So I've got two baseball caps, but inside there are more hats. So I've got um, this one for Harry. It's like a little sun hat. Um, and then we have the one that covers their neck for Harry um, and then another one that covers the neck for Harry so what I do I just fold them up like that and then kind of like fill out the baseball cap and it just helps keep the shape and then the same with this one this is Harry's and then inside I just have the I think they're called bucket hats um, so they just look like this this one's Harry it's reversible and then this one is Ellie's which has just got strawberries on it. Um, and they fold up really, really small. So yeah, this is great. And I just pop it in the little hat. Okay, next is more swimming stuff. So this is Harry's inflatable. I'm just gonna pack that right at the bottom. Um, and then I'm also going to pack Ellie's armbands. I spoke about this before. I think they're called paddle jumper. Yeah. 
paddle jumper so i will leave these linked down below but they're basically armbands and to believe it or not i know they're quite bulky but they weigh literally nothing so i'm just gonna pop that in the bottom of the case have swimming goggles for ellie um one of these wipe clean bibs for harry i have got disposable bibs but i thought i'd bring one of these really big ones as well um so i just fold that up it weighs literally nothing um and also ellie's swim ring that she wants to take a lot of this stuff you can buy out there but i like to have my own stuff sometimes um okay the next thing is the wash bag so this is ellie's wash bag i still need to buy um harry's like body wash shampoo so that needs to be added in here but i'm going to quickly show you what i've got in here i've got some fairy liquid for washing the bottles up so i just kind of like decanted it into this travel bottle um i've got ellie's toothpaste um i have two little travel fans these are like little mini fans um, so I've got one for Harry and one for Ellie. Harry probably won't use it. Um, but yeah, got two of them. I've got some little pseudocreme or pseudocreme, however you say it. I've got Ellie's frozen toothbrush. Um, I've got Ellie's shampoo and conditioner. And little tip, I always put sellotape on the lids, if you can see there. So anything that has um, like a lid to it, like this, which I'll show you in a minute, I always put sellotape on it because if they get squashed or anything in the case, obviously they will leak everywhere. So a little tip is just put some sellotape on the top of the lids. Um, I think that's it. Oh no, I've got some sunglasses. So I've got Ellie's little sunglasses and Harry's little sunglasses. Um, and then, oh, Ellie's got a spare pair of sunglasses. She's obsessed with them. There's her other pair. And then in here is just a bunch of her hair stuff. So I still need to add her hairbrush and detangling spray, but she's using it at the moment. Um, and then we just have like some headbands, some pretty headbands, some hair clips and hair ties. All of the hair accessories are in here. Um, and then I've just got like hair bands and stuff um so that's what's in that wash bag so I'm okay so i'm just gonna pop that into the case i'm also taking a first aid kit i've done a whole separate video on what's in here um so if you'd like to see that i'll leave that link down below but there is stuff like Dyrolite, um, if they get a cold or stuff of that, cowpole, um, a thermometer, scissors, plasters, teething stuff and medicine for me and Paul in there as well. So yeah, it's all in this little see-through case and yeah, I'll leave that link down below but that is 100% coming with us. Three bottles of sun cream. We've got two spray ones which I'm going to pack in there. And we have one like push spray one. I've actually lost the lid to this, so I've put sellotape on the top so um, it can't spray out if it touches anything in the case. Um, I bring some travel wash. Again, this has got sellotape around the lid so it doesn't leak. But yeah, this is really handy for washing underwear, dirty bibs, um, dirty vests, anything like that. Um, you just can wash it in your hotel sink and leave it to dry. So I'm taking some travel wash. Two little pram shoes for Harry. These are like really soft um, pram shoes. They're not hard, they're kind of like soft soles. So I'm just taking these to go with his little evening outfit. Um, and then we just have this little squishy toy thing Ellie wants to take. Um, I don't even know what it is. Splash. No, Splat's fun. Packing that. I have some... Oh, they've come out the thing. Okay. These need to be sterilised uh, before I do pack them away. But I'm packing some dummies. Because Harry has got a dummy. I know they're a love-hate love thing. But I personally 
don't see the problem with dummies and the last thing i want to do is lose them we are forever losing dummies so yeah we've got back up i've got two tommy tippy ones which he hasn't actually used before so i might not actually bring these because he might not like them but i have got two of the mam dummies in here but i need to sterilize them and i'm bringing them because i've got these little handy travel containers and you can actually sterilize them um when you're abroad as well so yeah bring in dummies because you need to next thing i'm bringing is a powder dispenser um this is for your formula and you basically just measure out your formula in these little sections and then tip it into the bottle um for traveling we don't need this so i'm packing it in the suitcase because we're bringing the ready-made bottles for the airport uh, but this will be handy for like when we go on days out or to the beach I'm not bringing loads of ready-made bottles so we will have to make like bottles the normal way um but yeah this is coming with us and then I'm also bringing this little travel snack pot um I was going to bring like a big Tupperware box but to be honest we just haven't got the room for it so I found this mini one um and it's got like three different sections if you can see there why is it not focusing So yeah, it's got three different sections and I thought because we're going all inclusive, we can um, nick some food from the buffet and take it with us. So I don't know what I'm going to put in there, maybe like cucumber, dry cereal, don't really know yet, but I thought it was a really handy thing to have. And then I'm bringing this amount of nappies. These are swimming nappies. I don't know how many is there, but um, another little tip, if your little one doesn't do any accidents in these swimming nappies, so if they don't do a wee or a poo in them, you can actually wash them out or just wring them out and let them dry, then they can just reuse them again. So it just saves you bringing loads and that's what we're doing. Um, but I have got some just for backup if it does do any um, accidents in them so they're coming and then the last things are the towels and muslins the big ones um so i'm bringing two towels unfortunately harry hasn't got one i completely forgot to get harry one so i've got two girly ones I, i'm sure he won't mind um until he's 18 so i've got one for ellie this is a poncho bell one with a hood so this is ellie's one um, and then I have a frozen one for Harry, um, which my brother kindly got Ellie, so I thought that would come in handy. And you definitely need towels, so I'm packing them. And then the last thing, I'm bringing little muslins, but I'm going to be bringing them. Some of them are in the wash, ready to take, um, and some of them I'm going to be putting in my hand luggage. But these are really, really handy, and I'm bringing two. So these are just huge, giant muslin cloth square things. They are huge, um, the size of a beach towel, and these are great for um, laying down anywhere, and you can put your baby on it. You can change your baby on one. You can cover yourself up. Um, they're good for if they're like dribbling or if they have milk on them they're just really good for anything and these are super soft so this one i got from bulimium fox i'll leave it linked down below but the print is just perfect for holiday um, it's like a tropical print so that will be coming with us and you can have naps on it um, and then this one is from little blue nest i think it's called and it's just got like little wooden woodland animals on it um and yeah i'm only bringing two because i've got the travel wash with me and i can just wash them up and hang them out to dry on the balcony um so yeah that is what i'm taking i'm also packing this travel spoon and bowl set um just for if he has any purees or um food in the hotel or anything so it's really handy because it's like a travel one and it's not too bulky or anything. Um, and then I've got a beaker for him in his carry-on already, but I'm bringing another one. Um, this is the Tommy Tippy No Spill Little Beaker. So yeah, going to be bringing that and he's going to be having his boiled cold water in that, obviously, to keep him hydrated. So I just wanted to quickly mention what's in the front bit of the case as well. 
So the first zipper bits we have is all of Harry's disposable bibs. Now I personally just think it's easier bringing these disposable ones because you can just chuck them away and you haven't got to worry about the dirty cloth ones. So this is what they look like. I'll get one out to show you. They just look like that and to tie them around the neck, there's like a sticky bit here, but there's also a um, crumb catcher thing here as well. And then you just chuck them away when they're finished. So I've got plenty for um, our steak because obviously he he has breakfast, lunch, dinner. Um, so there's plenty in there. And they literally weigh nothing, which is really handy. And then in the second compartment, we have all of the sterilising stuff. So I have, how many have I got of these? 20 of these. Or have I? No, seven. I've got 14 of these, sorry. And these are the disposable cold water sterilising bags from Boots. I think the brand is called Oasis. And they're massive bags that you tie to the bathroom at Taps. And you put your bottles in there and a tablet and they sterilise. So I'll leave a link down below where I got these from. But obviously we haven't got a microwave. Um, and I didn't want to bring one of them big travel sterilisers. So we just got these. Um, they do come with sterilising tablets. But I've bought my own Milton ones. Because I've heard um, these don't smell so bleachy. These are like the best ones. So I'm just bringing some Milton sterilising tablets as well for the sterilising bags. You can see this is everything that I showed you in the case and there's plenty of room um, and yeah that's how I packed it all and obviously the shoes and stuff are in there. So like I said all the other things like the snooze shade, feed bottles, formula, all things like that are going to be in the random case but this is more of like clothing and stuff. Toys and stuff will be in his carry-on bag which I'm going to be filming straight after this so if you'd like to see what's in Harry's plane bag then definitely look out for that. I will leave it linked down below so you don't miss it. And yeah, I'll leave a link down below to everything that was mentioned and also my travel list if you'd like to get some ideas from that. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!